kiddos with me so I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish that but that's the goal normally I get like all of my meats from Costco and then I just get a couple of other things um, from Lidl or Aldi but we'll see if I am able to go to both I am very close to a Lidl so I'll do that and then depending how the kids are doing then I'll go to Costco so let's get to it at the grocery store we actually did pretty good happy about that Hi everyone, so we are at the Costco parking lot. We already went to Liddell, uh, but this one fell asleep and she had to have a diaper change and right now she's eating. So when she's done, we're gonna head inside and we're gonna get the rest of the things that we need and I'll show you when we get home what I got. These are on sale, but this is skinless and boneless. I don't know. It is 22 grams of protein, more than this one. This is the one we normally get. Um, I don't know which one to get. I usually get this one, which is way more expensive. <laughs> Nowadays, it's so expensive. Um, but this is the second option. My husband just got some from Food Lion, so I'm not going to get any today. But this is a good option as well. It's delicious. Okay, so we're back. I was able to get some things. I'm going to show you only what I'll be consuming. There's other things that I also got. But I'm not gonna bother showing you what I got because it's like household stuff, diapers, etc. So I'll show you what I got. I, again, I went to two stores. I went to Costco and I also went to Lidl. Lidl, for for those that don't know, it's kind of like Aldi, but I do feel like they have a little bit more variety. So let me show you what I got. This block, a pound of sharp cheddar. Um, I also got some thighs with the bone in. I don't know how I am going to be cooking these because normally we will grill them, but we live in an apartment now, so I don't know how I am going to cook them. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I have no clue. Um, we typically either use the oven or the cast iron to cook or the slow cooker, but I don't think I'll use this in the slow cooker. Anyways, please let me know if you have any suggestions. That'll be really great. Um, and then I have some chicken wings. They are $3.99 a pound, quite expensive. The non-organic ones from Kirkland have a lot of liquid in it. I have no idea what they're putting in there, but it does not look good. <laughs> so I ended up getting these that are more expensive. Now I have splurged a little bit on the ground meat situation. This is like five something per pound. Um, and I honestly don't care <laughs> because I can eat an entire baggie which I think it's a pound. Yeah, I can eat a pound a day of these and it's still cheaper than me eating a ribeye and it's fulfilling. Now, I'm not saying that I will do that, but I have done that in the past and it is super delicious. I just season it with like garlic, onion, and some salt and I'll do maybe some black pepper. I have done some marinara sauce with it as well and some uh, cheese. Um, uh, what is the name of that cheese? And it's an Italian hard cheese, super delicious. Can't remember the name. Um, I also have as like toppings, I use sour cream. And if I don't have this, I will use my Greek yogurt. I'm running very low on this. Um, I didn't buy this today, but I wanted to show you that um, this is normally what I will buy if I go to the organic store. But now that I got this today, I'll probably be using this instead. If I feel like having a taco bowl, which I probably will do since I have some of the cheddar cheese, I can season this with like some taco seasoning and it will be just as good. And then I also have some grass fed butter that is salted. It is just as good as the Kerrygold one um, and it's a bit cheaper. So, you know, I will just do continue to buy this instead of the carry gold. I also wanted to show you this though. I didn't get it today. I got it last week. Um, it is the seltzer water that is just as good as sparkling water is actually a bit better in my opinion. And the sparkling water, I feel like it's overpriced right now. So I got a 15 uh, bottle um, seltzer water of this for about seven and some change. So you can say like eight bucks much much cheaper than san pellegrino perrier and all those even the kirkland brand sparkling water is a bit overpriced so we're enjoying that cold now i typically get the wild planet sardines from costco 
but these were on sale i have not had these before they do have olive oil which i'm not a big fan of but you know because there's just so much that comes with olive oil is sometimes it's not even olive oil if they mix it up with something else i'm not saying that they do but typically they do like the olive oil industry or oils in general is a bit sketchy <laughs> so um yeah uh this has this is skinless and boneless uh, also another thing that i'm not quite um a big fan of because i do enjoy my sardines with skin and with bones so i don't know how it's gonna be but uh, it was much cheaper than the one that I normally get. So I thought that it will be a great deal to get this instead. So I got it. And this actually has more protein than the ones that I typically get. The ones that I typically get have only 17 grams of protein per container. This one has, um, where is it? 22 grams of protein, which is pretty good. Um, and I will normally have one can of sardines with like boiled eggs, some hot sauce, um, and yeah, it would be just delicious. Now, um, I didn't get this today either, the wild caught tuna, but I do typically consume some sort of tuna, some sort of fish, whether it's sardines or this. My husband got this for me this week, um, four cans, and they're in water pretty good now i got these eggs from costco um and they will last us about a week in some days depending on how many hard-boiled eggs we have or how many eggs we have for breakfast um so this is a way that you can cut down in your budget by eating eggs there's about six grams of protein per egg so if you can have some eggs with maybe some sardine or some tuna or you know some uh, wings or something like that you can kind of make it happen now i have also made just a meal of just eggs i will have like six eggs and i will add some scallion some butter um and it will be just as delicious typically i'll do that for breakfast um and because i'm kind of getting away from eating bacon for breakfast every morning it's just such a hassle to clean up but yeah we have eggs and then i also got uh this beef loin top sirloin cap haven't had this before but it was 6.99 a pound we'll see how it goes i i think this is also considered the picanha um so it's more fibrous and then it has a cap of fat like a new york strip but i haven't cooked this before so i don't know how i'm going to do it but i'm planning on slicing it up and then cooking it as i go and then we use the half and half so half and half is a bit cheaper than heavy cream and it only has milk and cream which is good because some heavy cream have additives to it gums and so on then i also have some pork rinds that i will normally have with some tuna and boiled eggs um and then i got some tomatoes these are actually for my husband but i would have them from time to time and then i got avocados this time i haven't had avocados in a while but we'll see how it goes and then we got two cans of tomato paste. I don't know how I'm gonna use it, but I probably will use it with uh, some ground meat. Probably the ground meat I still have in my deep freezer from uh, um, Costco, the big batch of ground meat. It is so lean and it needs more flavor, more fat, more stuff. So maybe I'll use that with it, but yeah, that's about it. All right, so that's what I got at Costco in a little. I hope that you guys got some sort of inspiration from this. Um, it's quite typical things, but I, I feel like um, it doesn't have to be super expensive to do this way of eating. When you start to add a lot of variety into it, like, you know, tomatoes, avocados, and produce and stuff like that, it can become expensive. But if you stay strict carnivore, what you do, mainly meat, eggs, butter, and stuff like that, it will be good. But I feel like I need more variety in order for me to do this long term. So we'll see how it goes. But I think I have enough food for about 15 days um, with what I got today and also what I have in my freezer. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. God bless. Bye.